So Jack, 3-0 here today, can you just give me your thoughts on that one? Obviously delighted. Um, we spoke about before the game, how important the game was. It was a must-win game. Um, and I thought, to be fair, the first half was pretty even. I thought both teams had decent spells, both teams had decent chances. So it kind of looked maybe like a, a game where both sets of players almost kind of knew what was at stake and it was a little bit cagey. Um, and then we spoke about a few things at half-time. And again, one thing to give them the girls a due, whether we've won, lost or draw, when we've given them information or asked them to do different things, we then see it replicated quite a bit in the pitch. We saw it in the second half. So, yeah, I thought in the second half, I thought we were, we were good value for a win in the second half. Um, again, they had a spell kind of part way through that we had to weather, but um, I thought we did that well. I thought we defended well. And I thought going forward, we got a bit of fortune in the first goal, obviously, being the goal. Um, but I thought we maybe merited a lead at that stage in the game. And then the two goals later on were, were good quality goals from our perspective. Um, and I thought we looked quite threatening towards the latter parts of the game. And, and equally quite well controlled with them without the ball towards the end of the game. So, yeah, obviously delighted a, a, a massive a massive fixture for us um, and hopefully gives the girls some confidence obviously going into next week, a wee break from league action, but obviously a tough game next week. But primarily delighted with today, delighted with the result, delighted with the performances, delighted with the contribution people come off the bench and the togetherness again. So, all round a, a good day. I like to say there was a bit of fortune with that first goal, but I guess credit to the girls for finding that breakthrough so early in the second half and then, like you say, just maintaining that control from that point onwards. Yeah, and I think obviously the nature of that, that game where it's two teams that are close to each other in the league, that the longer it goes and it is quite tight, people get a little bit nervous. So you could kind of see when that goal went in, it almost it just seemed to settle people down with them without the ball. Um, so like I say, the nature of the goal was fortuitous, but I didn't... I didn't I think we could say it was, it was undeserved at that point, if that makes sense, um, without dominating the game by any stretch of the imagination. So I think when that goal went in, we spoke about obviously the last time we came here and they scored first, they were then very difficult to break down. So we did speak about if we could score the first goal and they maybe had to come at us a little bit more, could we then try and exploit any spaces that were left behind? And like I say, I think we did that well for the second and third goal, but just for the, the rest of the second half in general. So yeah, I think any goal at the start of a, a half gives people momentum, but especially when it's the first goal in a tight game, it obviously gives everyone a big lift. Yeah, and yeah, I'll lead to earlier, we're now moving on to what's a big week for the club, for the girls, for the football team. Um, how much are we looking forward to the occasion at Hamden and hopefully seeing a big Spartans backing there? Absolutely, I mean, it's, again, it's another game where we've not had many games this season, probably we've not played under quite a bit of pressure, so, yeah, looking ahead to next week is a good opportunity for the girls to to not hopefully feel as much pressure. They should still be putting themselves under pressure to perform and do well, but hopefully a day to try and enjoy it, hopefully a good support. Good opportunity for the girls, none of them have played at Hamden, so that's a great occasion as well. But we also need to make sure we don't go there with a tourist hat on and think we're just there to enjoy Hamden, enjoy the day. We still have a game we need to try and win. You know, that's obviously going to be very, very difficult, but we're still going there to try and win the game. So, yeah, I think girls should enjoy it tonight and then come tomorrow, obviously, everything's prepared and looking forward to next Sunday.